welcome to another Three String Cigar Box Guitar Lesson. I'm Sean from Coda Guitar and uh, this is the second in a series of looking at uh, using some sort of banjo uh, style picking techniques on uh, three string guitar. So uh, we did a previous one which was looking at sort of strumming um, which was taken from like the claw hammer style. Uh, this one we're going to be using um, like what's called a single string picking technique. So uh, certain sort of bluegrass banjo players, uh, the ones who actually use um, like the thumb and finger picks, uh, if they want to kind of emulate what we do with the flat pick with the down and the up strokes, um, they will use thumb and index finger um, movements. So the thumb kind of works as the down stroke and the index finger works as the up stroke. Um, so uh, we've got like a, a basic sort of rockabilly um, sort of blues uh, bass line, like a 12 bar blues. Um, so it doesn't actually particularly sound banjo-esque, but the technique is very much borrowed from that. Uh, so just before we get into it, let's check if we are in tune. So as always, standard G, D, G. So there's your low G. Here is your middle D and there is the high G. Okay, um, so uh, there's, a, there's a score to go with this. Um, if you like this lesson uh, and if you like any of our content, uh, please consider going to the website and downloading it. Um, it's half price for the first seven days. Uh, it really helps support the channel so we can keep putting out um, content throughout this year and um, very reasonably priced as well. Um, uh, let's just sort out the picking hand, the right hand to start with. So, um, first of all, we did we've done a fair amount on palm muting. So um, uh, there's there's lessons which uh, introduce that where you just rest on the side of your uh, palm, just uh, right on the bridge. So I'll I'll link to that if you want to look at that in a bit more detail. But it basically just dampens the string. Okay. Now even if you don't want to dampen the string, actually resting down here like this, let's do that from a different angle, resting down here uh, is quite helpful because it just, it, it gives us a good position to, to get a nice um, sort of fluent um, picking technique from. Now when you're using your thumb, keep it dead straight and uh, move from this, this join up here, try not to sort of hook it around like that. Uh, and then actually hook your finger though, so your fingers just like sort of flicks up into your palm a little bit. And so if you just imagine it's like a down, up, down, up movement. So it's the same as a down, up um, picking movement if you're using a flat pick. Okay, so. So that's unmuted. I'm resting on the bridge, but I'm not touching the string. We move forward a tiny bit. There's your muted, so it's a little bit of a sort of duller thud, which could be good for like a bass line. Okay, um, so practice that. Uh, what I'm actually going to do on, on the, the score, there's a little intro uh, which lasts for um, four bars. Um, first two lines of the score. I'm actually just going to go straight into the main, what I've labelled as the main 12 bar cycle, uh, and. Um, this this is just the main sort of bass line okay so uh, we're going to start straight on like line number three and um, this is also really good for your left hand or your fretting hand um, position uh, so we're playing riffs and so what you want to try and do is actually keep your fingers very flat and relaxed um, the previous one was all about playing chords all about sort of bridging round like this you can see that from a couple of different angles um, and so there's a bit more strain in your hand. When, when you're just playing one note at a time, it's actually often really good to be nice and relaxed. If you see where my thumb is, it's sort of further down the back of the neck. Um, and I'm not attempting to bridge round. I'm keeping my fingers pretty flat. And if I was to straighten them out, they would become quite sort of vertical. All right, so we want to keep that fairly relaxed hand position all the time. Okay, so what we're doing here is we're playing two open bass Gs and then I'm going to use fingers one and two on frets three and four. So just play two open and then three, four, just play those once each. And then we're going to do a jump straight up with finger one, so position shift. Make sure whenever you position shift, your thumb moves with your first finger. You don't want to leave it trailing, otherwise it's an absolute nightmare. Um, so we, we play another two 
on fret 7 uh, with finger 1 and then we play frets 9 and 10. Now I'm going to try and use finger 3 and 4 uh, or your pinky finger if you come from the US. Um, so you've got open and then you've got fret 3 and 4, just play those once each. Shift up finger 1, play fret 7 twice and 3 and 4, fingers 3 and 4 on frets 9 and 10. And that's all constant, uh, quite quite fast, it's what you call half beat notes, it's like 1, 2, 3, 4, 1, 2, 3, 4, so the rhythm is very straight. So that would be a really good thing to practice to start with. Open twice, three, four, fret seven twice, seven, nine, and ten. Because uh, you actually play play that twice. <clears throat> so I've put like one one bar, uh, sorry, two bars per line. Uh, so that's all of line three, and then line four, we we kind of extend it out a little bit. So this is the bottom page one. So you've got open three. Four, and then seven twice, nine twice, ten twice, nine twice, seven twice, four twice. So that lasts for two bars there, so it's one, two, three, four, one, two, three, four. So that is your first four bars, okay, and so every single time we're alternating without fail don't do any double thumbs or double fingers so there's the first bar so get that position shift and then extend out What I'm going to do is I'm going to carry on and play the full um, 12 bar, then I'll have a look at the uh, intro uh, and then the outro at the end. So we're going straight to C. So this is now the top of page two, and uh, I'm going to use my little finger, pinky finger, on fret five because I'm actually going to reach back down to fret one. So I'm going to play that twice, and then I'm going to play frets one and two, and then position shift on this on the middle string. So that was low string, middle string, and then middle string again, twice on fret 5, and once on fret 7 and 8. So we've got 5, fret 5 twice, middle string, fret 1, fret 2, fingers 1 and 2 again, finger 1, position shift with your thumb, twice, once on those two. So we, we just do that once, and then the second um, bar of C, so that was the first bar of C, we play five twice, frets one and two, and then fret five twice and two twice. Okay, so both bars of C <coughs> sound like this, fret five twice, fret one, fret two, fret five, finger one, stepping up to seven and eight with fingers three and four back with your little finger fret five one and two again i'm going to use my little finger this time on fret five because i'm actually going to go back to fret two and then so that's um of the main 12 bar that was uh, bars five and six bars seven and eight So we do that main riff on G again, exactly the same as the first time. But we don't do it twice. We're going to put a bit of variation in. I'm going to play the open high G. And then I'm going to go for fret 4 with my first finger. Play it twice. Fret 5, fret 6. Now if you can hear that, it's like stepping it up, it's wanting to work its way up to fret 7, it's like a little, we call chromatic run up. But instead of going to fret 7, that's actually the same as open D. So we're going to play open high G and then 
fret 4, fret 5, fret 6 on the bass and then I'm actually going to play open D and this is going to a D chord you know like a standard um, G 12 bar blues we've got G, C, G and then D, C, G uh, across across 12 bars so we're, we're on to the, the D for the first time here um, so you can you can hold a D chord on and you can add so a standard sort of D5 chord um, and you, you can add fingers three and four in. You might find that a bit of a stretch, so I might just break the chord up and, and just play them one at a time. So it actually sounds similar to, to the, the sort of bass line up to this point anyway. So I'm going for D and then fret two on the high and then low fret two and so each of those twice and then middle string four sorry, three and four, with fingers three and four, frets three and four, fingers three and four. So you don't have to hold all of those on. I'll, I'll do it from this angle. You can just add them one at a time. Now after you've played that bar, um, you might want to go to fret two with your first finger. And then play that twice, open D again, back to fret 2 again, and then 4 and 5. So that's the second bar of D. Okay, so the first bar of D, I'll probably use fingers 2 there, fingers 1 there, just because it's um, like what you normally do for that D chord. There's fingers 3 and 4 on frets 3 and 4 on the middle string. I'll probably swap now to finger 1 on fret 2 on the high string, fret 2 again, okay, and then uh, what we're we doing now, we are doing uh, back to the G, the main riff on the G again, and then just to finish off, we're going for a bar, so Clamp. Uh, actually, just just have have a look at the first um, lesson uh, on on in this series, the previous one. I'll, I'll put a link to it because uh, I'll go into a bit more detail about bar in there. So you're on fret seven. That's a, a D. So I would go thumb on the bass, and I'd actually do a flick up with my thumb twice, and then I might do a downstroke with my fingers at the end. So that is the whole 12 bar. I will go around it again. Um, so we're, go we're going from line three on the score. Like I said, I'll do the intro in a minute. So uh, there's a lot of repetition. We're playing, playing this G1 a lot. Do that twice. Then extend it out, play twice, twice on this note, 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 change to C, little finger, frets one and two, excuse me, back to your little finger, frets one and two, little finger here, back to fret two, and then back to the main G riff, and then play your open G, fret four, fret five, fret six, open D for the D chord, fret two, fret two, fingers three and four and frets three and four, finger one, and then back to the main bass, G bass, and then finish on the bar. Now, uh, there's quite a lot there, so I would definitely um, rewind because um, th this is at a beginner level so that's quite a lot to take in at once um, so I'd, I'd rewind and um, just try it probably like two, two bars at a time um, ideally uh, or certainly like the, the, the first four bars of G uh, and then tackle the, the two bars over the C chord on their own um, 
then the, the two bars of G after that, uh, there's just slight variation, you know, so go around that a couple of times and then definitely do the two bars of D on their own as well, uh, leading into the, 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 the final um, two bars back into the D chord itself, which hopefully isn't too difficult, because uh, there's quite a lot to, to, to go around there. It's, I would say it's dead important to try and use the right fingers. Really good finger exercise this, because you're using all four of them. Um, throughout so re really helpful um, get a nice sort of relaxed fluid um, fretting technique for playing riffs but just uh, very quickly um, we repeat that and we've got an alternate ending um, which means we, we, we instead of playing the second off bottom line uh, of the score uh, we go to the bottom line of the score the second time. Uh, the, there is a free um, download on the, the site which explains how uh, tab and notation works. So uh, you can you can go to the site, download those for free, and there's there's a bit more uh, explanations PDF there. But um, the the second ending we go from D. <laughs> standard turnaround so use any finger here it doesn't really matter three open string one two one and then little chord at the end where you got bridge round again check previous lesson for chord technique all right so that that's the alternate ending that you play f after the D the second time. But the uh, intro um, uses that chord there, but we do like a little slide up, so double stops. Um, it's uh, this, this is like a not so good version or a straight version of uh, Sweet Home Chicago. If anyone's ever seen Blues Brothers, great movie, I'd recommend it. Um, but the, their version of Sweet Home Chicago, uh, which has actually got a shuffle, but we're playing it straight here. <laughs> So we're doing little grace note slides, so uh, from 11 to 12, so finger one on 10, do that twice, and then play, so that's, that's alternating with your thumb and fingers here, different strings now, do that again, and then little bend, so just slow bend, so you, you don't arrive early, you're just tweaking it up so it sounds more interesting that way, it sounds more musical. And then the turnaround is the same as what you did at the end, uh, the, um, the outro and the ending. Into an actual D chord, so thumb and finger together, finger, thumb, thumb. Do it one more time. Bend, bend it up into a D chord, and then straight into the main 12 bar. Okay, so that's it. Um, quite a useful little picking um, technique there if, you, if you're doing finger style and you want to get into riffs because you can actually go quite quick with it when you get used to it. Palm muting, normal playing. Um, so the, these these two, the first um, lesson and this one, are, are definitely sort of beginner level. Uh, this one's a little bit more difficult, but hopefully it'll be good good practice for you in particular, like your left hand, I think. Uh, but the next two are going to be slightly more uh, advanced, just showing how you can use um, some like hammer-ons and pull-offs uh, and uh, sort of different um, picking and strumming patterns. Um, so, yep, that's it. Uh, please consider buying the score if you like this lesson, and uh, we look forward to seeing you here again soon on Code Guitar.